The Trumpets of a Mind by Victor Hugo Sound, sound forever, clarions of thought. When Joshua against the high-walled city fought, he marched round it with his banner high, as troops in serried order following nigh, but not a sword was drawn, nor shaft outsprang, only the trumpets the shrill onset rang. As the first blast smiled scornfully the king, and the second sneered, half wandering, half saw with noise my stronghold to break down, and the third round, the arc of the old renowned swept forward, still the trumpets sounding aloud, and then the troops of ensign waving proud, stepping out upon the old wall's children dark, with horns to mock the notes and hoot the arc. At the fourth turn, braving the Ursa lights, Roman appeared upon the shrenolited heights, was battlements and brown with age and rest, and hurled upon their brief stones and dust, and spun and sang and weary of a game, at the fifth circuit came the blind and lame, and the white uproar clamorous and high reeled at the clang ringing to the sky. At the sixth time upon a tower's tall crest, so high where the eagle built his nest, so hard that on it lightning a lit in the wane, appeared in merriment the king again. These brute Jews musicians army seems, he scoffed, loud laughing, but we live on dreams. The princess laughed submissive to the king, laughed all the quarters in the glittering ring. And when the laughers breed through all the town, at a seven blast, the city walls fell down.